A blessed day, everyone. Welcome once again to our new lesson. Today, our topic is the difference between IP version 4 and IP version 6. So first, we define what is IP. IP means Internet Protocol. Next, what is IP address? IP address is a numeric identifier for a computer or a device on a network. So we have here an illustration of computers connected to a network. And each computer must have a numeric identifier called an IP address. Okay? So next, we first define what is IP version 4. IP version 4 is a 32-bit numeric address. And IP version 4 has 4.2 billion IP version 4 addresses. IP version 4 has 32 bits that are grouped into 8 bits called octet, separated by periods. And here is the example of binary bits grouped into 8 and separated by periods. And each group that has 8 bits is called octet. So we have here 4 groups and we have the first octet, the second octet, the third octet, and the fourth octet. So this is the decimal form of IP version 4, which is the human can read and understand. While this is the binary form that the, that the machine can understand. So let us proceed with the decimal to binary conversion of IP version 4 address for us to know and understand the machine language. So let us have our example of decimal IP address representation. So we're now going to begin the IP version 4 binary conversion. For that, we will be needing an 8-bit octet chart. And this is the 8-bit octet chart. Now, let us place first the decimal IP address at the bottom of our table. And let us solve for 179 to convert it into binary form. So let us place binary 1 to 128 that we think could add up for a total of 179. So we place 128. We place binary 1 to add 32. We place binary 1 to add 16. We place binary 1 to add 2. And last, we place binary 1 to add a value of 1. These numbers, when added, will give us a total of 179. And all the numbers inside the table that were not included in addition will have a binary 0 assignment. Now, the binary equivalent of 179 is 10011011. Okay? So let us proceed with the next number, which is 157. Let us place binary 1 to 128. Binary 1 to add 16. Another binary 1 to add 8. Another binary 1 to add 4, and last binary 1 to add 1. And these numbers, when added, will give us a result of 157. And again, the numbers inside the table that were not part of the addition will have a binary 0 assignment. 
okay? Now, the binary equivalent of 157 now is 1011101. 1, 1, 1. So next, let us solve for 195. Let us place a binary 1 to 128. And let us place a binary 1 to add 64. Another binary 1 to add 2. Another binary 1 to add 1. And again, adding these numbers will give us a result of 195. And all the numbers again inside the table that were not part of the addition will have a binary zeros. And the binary equivalent of 195 now is 11000011. Next, we solve for 119. Let us place binary 1 to 64. Another binary 1 to add 32. Another binary 1 to add 16. Another binary 1 to add 4. Another binary 1 to add 2. And last, binary 1 to add 1. And these numbers, when added, will give us a result of 119 and again all the numbers that were not part of the addition will have zero binary bits and the binary equivalent of 119 here is 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay now be able to learn how to convert the decimal numbers into its binary form. Okay? So let us proceed with IP version 6. What is IP version 6? IP version 6 is a 128-bit hexadecimal address. And this is the 128 bits total, a huge number of binary bits. And if you're going to count all these binary bits, it will give you 128 bits. Next, IP version 6 could produce over 340 and a zillion addresses. And this is the number representation of and IP version 6 is a hexadecimal number uses both numbers and alphabets. And this is an example of IP version 6 address that has a combination of numbers and letters. While IP version 4 has purely a numeric address. And IP version 4 is already depleted, the reason for the introduction of IP version 6. So now let us have an example of IP version 6 binary bits. So let us have IP version 6 binary to hexadecimal conversion. And we will be needing a table for 4 bits. And this four bits represent hexa. Okay? And when you add all these numbers here, 8, 4, 2, 1, is a total of 15. And counting from 0 to 15 is a total of 16. And 16 is the representation of hexadecimal. Okay, so let us proceed with the binary to hexadecimal conversion of IP version 6 address. So let us have this binary bits as our example and let us choose the highlighted binary bits for 
conversion. So these are the chosen number of bits. So let us have first the 1000. Zero, zero. Let us have our table. And let us place 1000 zero, zero, zero under our table. And the placement of 1 is the number that we will be adding. And the result is 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 8. And we can now place 8 as our result for hexadecimal. Next, we solve for 0, 1, 0, 1. Place it under our table and get the binary ones equivalent. And that is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And we can now place 5 as our result to hexadecimal number. So next, we solve for 1, 0, 1, 1 and place it under our table and get the placement of binary ones for a value of 8 plus 2 plus 1 will give us 11. And this is a two digits that is not acceptable for hexadecimal. So we will be needing our table for us to look for the equivalent letter of 11. Here, 11 is letter B. So we place B as an equivalent of 11. And we place now letter B as a result for hexadecimal conversion. Next, we solve for 1100 zero, zero, and we place that number on our table and compute for the placement of ones and that val values are 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. And 12 is again a two digits. We will be needing here again our table to look for the equivalent letter of 12 and that is letter C and we can now place letter C on our result of hexadecimal. Next we solve for 0 1 1 1 and place it under on our table and get the values placement of ones and those are 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7 and we can immediately place the 7 on our result. So we don't need here our table. We can immediately place 7 on our result of hexadecimal conversion. Next, we solve for 1101. Place it under our table and get the 1's values assignment and those are 8 plus 4 and 1 which is equal to 13 and 13 is a two digits so we need our table to look for the equivalent letter of 13 and that is letter D so we can now place letter D as our result for hexadecimal next we solve for 1 0 1 0 place it under our table and get the values and that those are 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 and this is again a two digits we will be needing our table here and get the equivalent letter of 10 and that is A and let us place A as our result for the conversion. Next, we solve for the last binary bits, which is 1, 1, 1, 1. Place it under our table and get the values assignment of 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 15, another two digits. So we will be needing our table to look for the equivalent letter of 15, which is letter F. Now, we can place F as our result 
for hexadecimal conversion. Now, getting all the results, this is the partial result of IP version 6 address. And if you're planning to solve for the remaining bits here to get the whole value of IP version 6 address, it would be a good training for you to be familiar about this IP version 6 conversion. Okay? So thank you so much and see you on our next lesson. That ends our lesson. Thank you so much.